Hey guys, Nick here. In this video, we're going to go over snapshot replication for your Synology NAS. This is great for business use if you want to go back to a later date and time or if someone deletes something. Uh, what this does is takes a snapshot of your shared folders that you can restore from. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use it and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to Package Center. We're going to scroll down to Snapshot Replication. So Snapshot Replication is already turned on for me. So go ahead and install it. I'm going to go ahead and click open. So this is going to optimize replication performance. I'm just going to click OK for this. All right. So as you guys can see, no scheduled replication. We have one snapshot here and we have no recently completed replications. So we're going to go over the tabs here on the left. So snapshots, replication, recovery and log. So to start off with snapshots, as you can see here, these are all of the shared folders that I have on my Synology. So the one folder that I'm able to take snapshots of is my data folder here. So this data folder is in BTRFS. This is a Synology partition here that we're able to essentially make snapshots of. If it is in an EXT4 or any other format, we will not be able to create a snapshot of. It's not supported for that. So we're gonna go ahead and continue using this data folder here. As you can see, I have no scheduled backups here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on snapshot here. You can do a take snapshot, you can do snapshot list, and you can do a calculate size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a snapshot. We're gonna describe this as, we're just gonna do test. And we're gonna go ahead and click lock, okay on that. Now we can click on settings. And from here, you can schedule a snapshot. So you can do them daily, you can do them hourly if you wanted to, you can do them weekly. You can choose the certain day that you'd like to have them. So for me, I've done this um, prior for a couple clients of ours and I'll do them about two times a day. And now we can click on retention here. So it'll do always retain snapshots so that it will uh, essentially fill up the Synology NAS with the snapshots. Um, unless you specify underneath it to delete snapshots after a certain amount of time. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna specify the number. We'll leave it as 1024. So Synology does a great job of making these snapshots really small. So if you need to restore anything um, or anytime the snapshot does take place, it's maybe a gig or so, um, if that. Yeah, they're very tiny and they're very helpful uh, in that way so they don't take up too much storage space on your Synology. So we'll go ahead and just click schedule. We'll do daily. That's fine. We'll do it for, let's say 1 a.m. every day. Retention, we'll just keep it at 1024 and advanced. So it makes snapshot visible. We're gonna check this as well. This will allow you to browse a snapshot in file station. So I'm gonna click okay and click okay. So the snapshot has taken before. I took the snapshot using this. You can click calculate size. It's gonna tell you the size of your snapshots. Okay, so we'll click cancel on that. And now on the left here, there's replication. You can click on create here. So we're not gonna go over this into great length because I'm not gonna be doing any replication. But if you do a local replication, you can replicate that shared folder to another volume if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next here. You can choose which volume you wanna replicate it to, select the shared volume that you would like to replicate and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back. We're not gonna do that. Or you can do a remote server. So you can go ahead and put in the IP address, username and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel here once this is done. All right, so this is the recovery tab. So we're gonna go ahead and see that there's a scheduled snapshot. It is healthy. We're gonna click on recover. And we can see here that we have two snapshots. This is an old snapshot that um, I believe is no longer there. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the test one here. You can click action. You can do a restore in place. And what this allows you to do is essentially just replace the entire shared folder with this version. So if there is a large number of files missing or folders missing, you can go ahead and do a restore in place and that'll just restore the entire folder back to what it was at this date. 
you can do a clone with new name, which will just make it, let's say, the um, the share folder is data. So you can make it data one, data two, or so on and so forth, and just make another clone of that data folder. Um, but we, what we can do is click browse. And what browse is gonna do is bring us that time and date. And we're gonna click on snapshot here. So let's go back here. So this is our snapshot. So we're gonna click data. Let's just go back up to the top here, data. You can see that there's a, a recycle bin snapshot and our data folder. You can click on snapshot. You can see the two replications that have taken place, or sorry, the snapshots that have taken place. We can double click on one of them. We can click on YouTube archive and we can see all of our folders here, all the data that we have in our snapshot. So for instance, if I were to come into our data folder Let's say I go into YouTube Archive, click on 2018 Subaru Impreza Overview, and I just go ahead and delete it. I don't like that video anyway. All right, so that is now gone from our data folder. Our data folder no longer has that. All right, but if we do, if we wanted that, or if Mike, Mike wants to download that back, we can go to Snapshot. We can go ahead and click on this time and date when it existed, click on YouTube Archive, and we see 2018 Super Impreza right there. And what you can do is you can right click on it, you can copy move, or you can go ahead and just drop it right into that folder. So we'll take it, drop it into our YouTube Archive folder here. We'll just give it a second here. And now that should complete. Perfect, so now if we go back to data, YouTube archive, it is back. We can browse it and we can view all the files in there. All right, so let's go ahead and close that, close that. And then down here, of course, is the logs. As you can see here, we took a snapshot. These are the two times that we took snapshots. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful for you. This is a snapshot replication for your Synology NAS. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, like and subscribe, and have a great day, guys.